Hi, in this video, I will show you how to compare uh, two dates in C programming without uh, using any library function. So before starting, let me uh, open uh, MS Paint and try to uh, explain you the logic behind it. So the thing is, if you want to compare two dates, then the date should be in this format. YY MM DD that is year month dates so let's see if you want to compare 2020 uh, 10 11 with 2023 20, 10 11 so i can see clearly this this date is the bigger than the first one so how how we are going to compare it we can just simply make use of strcmp function in in c programming this i will show in the program after explaining to you so let's compare one by one so when we compare this one with this one this is same this is also same and uh, this the third character is also same now coming to the fourth one that is zero and three if i see here in zero and three three is the bigger so if if we find any character which is bigger in the second in the dates then we can conclude basically this is bigger than this is date b we can say the second we can say the second date is bigger second date is bigger we can conclude so let's take one more example where uh, let me take two zero two zero ten ten and second date is two zero two zero same date okay so how we are going to compare basically we'll be using strcmp strcmp how does it work it will compare character by character so it will compare this and this which is same this and this equal this and this equal this this equal everything is equal since everything is equal it will so output will be same date both are same dates now if i take one more example let's say uh this is 20 23 10 10 and the second date is 20 20 10 10 let me compare one by one so this first first character in both dates are same this is this is not same so can we see which one is bigger this one is bigger here so can we say let's say this was date a this was date b so we can say date b is the greater greater or bigger than the date a so basically when we use strcmp it will return three types of value if both strings or dates are equal then it will return zero if string a is greater than b let's say date a is greater than b in any either in year month or day or day it will just return some uh, bigger number uh, let's say let's say if this is zero and two let's say this is three and zero so it will return some a bigger number like three or if date a is less than b then you know it will it will it will basically i will show you in the program it will be easy and uh, if let me let me open one more example so let's say uh, we, what we can use we can just say str cmp date a comma date b so we can compare let's say and uh, we can say if this is how this is a syntax let's say if str cmp date a comma date b equal to equal to zero 
then we can say uh, basically dates are same else if else if str cmp date a comma date b equal to zero equal to zero means date a is bigger than date b in any situation like either year or month or 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 a day then it will always return greater than zero value in that case you can say date a is greater than date b in third last third condition that is last condition we can make use of else and we can say see date this is date for equal this is a is date a is greater than greater b then the, the last option is which is left is date b is greater than date a so let me write a small program for this let me switch back to my linux machine i have logged in using mobile extreme let's create a c program here okay vi let's make me let's let's first create a directory uh, c programs and let me go inside this c programs using vi we will create a sample file let's say uh, date compare.c okay and i will go into the insert mode and uh, we need a header file stdiu.h include um uh, we will be using strcmp for strcmp we have to include the header file which is string.h and i can say i will uh, add a main function and here I can say I will declare variables uh, for to hold date A and date B. I'll call it date A and C. So if we are using if the dates are in format YYY uh, MMDD, then it we need a, a variable or character array or a string with length of eight. But in C programming, we have to we it's good practice to you know reserve or have one extra you know placeholder for null character to terminate the string so we will take 9 instead of 8 and i will initialize this with i will initialize all of its elements with null character similarly i will say date so there's a typo date b and i will say same 9 characters this length is 9 character and i will initialize with the null by default all character will be initialized by None. then i will just ask user to you know to ask printf uh, enter uh, first date and i can make use of scanf and i will say since it is character array or string i will make use of percentage s and then date a and similarly and for second message for sec for the second date is into second date and i would say scan f percentage s date to be you can move scan f in second line i'm just i'm just putting everything in one line so that you know uh, uh, to just because of a space issue and uh, I can in next line I can say if strc cmp date a comma date b equal to equal to zero. It means if uh, you know when when we are using str cmp to compare to a string or two dates here, if both are same, then it will return this function will return zero, and we can say printf. Uh, we'll make it a little fancy 
you can see both both dates are equal and uh, okay let's just do don't do like this do like this okay and else if str cmp date a comma date b is greater than zero that means it will return zero if date a is greater than date b it can be either year month or day in this case if it is greater than zero then date a would be greater than date b you can say date a is greater than date b so in third condition if if it is not equal if both dates are not equal and date a is a is greater than date b then in third case we can say printf date b date b is greater than date a make it fancy a little bit okay and at the end since in integer is returning integer we can make we can, we can return some integer value like zero whatever you want ideally it is zero so let me compile this i'll come out of the file i'll pray escape shift semicolon write and quit so since this is c program we will compare it with gcc compiler and we will say date compare dot c and if we compile by just passing the file name it will create the binary as a dot out so we want good practice to you know give a good name to the binary i will say date date compare basically what it will do what it will do is it will compile this and will create a, a binary with name date compare dot out let me compare it oh it got compiled successfully no error no warning now let me run it how can we run so before running we will do dir so from dir we can say there is a there is a binary called date compare dot out let me remove these older files which we don't need it will be confusing if i do here so i will see only uh, let me remove older files so a dot out which i don't need let me clear the screen so we have only two files date compare dot c date compare dot out so this is binary and if i want to run it i will say date i will say dot slash binary name enter it asks me for date one let's say two zero two zero ten ten and in date b also i'm entering two zero two zero ten ten so so if you see if you, what should be the output here since dates are same it should a message should come on the screen saying that dates are same so dates are same or date dates are equal so that's good now let me run it one more time let's say i meant a date i i want to have a scenario where date first date is greater than date b then i will say 2020 as 2022010010 and in second date i am putting 2021010 so first date is um uh 2022 10 10 and second date is 2021 10 10 which means date first is greater than date b if i enter we got a message date is then date b so so far good if i run one more time where third scenario where you know date a is smaller than date b or we can say date b is greater than date a we we'll just say 2020 10 10 and 2022 10 10 so you can see here clearly date b is 2022 date a is 2020 so if i just if so message will be date b is greater than date a because 
because it is 2020 now we can run one more time but before that let me uh don't clear this screen let me run one more time okay, i will we will we compare the month or date for it's last check so we will say 2020 10 10 and we'll say 2020 we'll compare the month now 11 10 so if you see here year is same but the month this is 10th month this is 11th month this is 10 is october this is november so the output should be date b is greater than date a because this is november this is october if i enter you got a message date b is greater than date a so this is good for month now let's do a one more run one more check on the day 202010 10 so and in date 2 date b i will say 2020 10 11 so that, that this first date is 10th of october 2020 second date is 11th of october 2020 so we can see it clearly date b is greater than date a if i enter we get a message so this is how you can compare this is just this this example is just for learning purpose i know we can you know add few more validation we can improve the program we can also check the length uh, the length of uh, uh, string before comparing it should be it should always be eight, character eight eight characters and we can also compare uh, we can come we can also check whether it is null or not and uh, we can uh, also compare whether someone has put uh, uh, some special character while entering the date or some garbage numbers something like that so all those things you can you know for all those uh, validation or improvement you guys can you guys are free to uh, you know download the program from the link given in description and modify it accordingly thanks for watching